All right, I'm going to call it a master's themed edition of Extra Time, even though there's no golf questions tonight. I noticed there was one yesterday. Was there? That, that was snuck in there. Yeah. Can't remember what it was, but I clearly remember. I but there aren't any. I tonight. miss a lot of shoes. No <laughs> golf questions. We'll call it master's theme. Uh, Craig Burley's beard is making an appearance again. It seems to be sprouting, <laughs> sprouting regularly. Uh, did two teammates ever dislike each other so much it made the locker room or dressing room uncomfortable in, uh, in your playing experience? Did you ever have teammates who disliked each other that much? <laughs> there was... <clears throat> listen, there's, there's, there's... In every dressing room, there's a couple of guys that don't particularly get on. Right. That, there's, there's human, always, human nature, isn't always, it? Always, right? Yeah. But whenever it... If ever it got to a stage like that, mm. The coach would have to get rid of one of them, right? Because it would completely, it would completely be a, it would be like a cancer through the rest of the dressing room. It would just cause too much trouble. Mm. Did it happen in your teams? No, no, Never not did. that bad. No, not not to one of your teams. No, no. I thought, no there's, a, there's always been fights and stuff. Mm. Some pretty bad ones, I have to be yeah. honest. But they, then they, they usually sort themselves out. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I mean, you end up. So you never knew a player to be shipped well, out of there just to kind of. Put it this way, there's, there, there, are, there are things that have gone on that basically you shouldn't do to a teammate, mm. and it's always ended up in the same ending. Somebody gets, see you later. Transferred. Some, somebody's transferred, somebody's told to go, whatever. Yeah. So. There's usually little clicks. I can't think of anybody. You always gravitate to, to yeah. you know, maybe four or five lads hang about together and. They guys maybe socialise a bit more, and then you've got some other guys that, you know, mm. don't golf or yeah. don't go out for a beer or whatever. You know, they just, right. you know, they, you rarely see them away from uh, the training grounds yeah. or the pitch. You, you don't, you just stay at home. But, and you does, use, it, does it actually make the locker room? You usually find, I tell you what, you usually find the cliques start to happen when you're playing for a team that's starting to go through a bit of a bad time. Yeah, that's, that's when the real character that's when the cliques Shows happen up. and then it becomes what then it becomes yep. even worse yeah because you're, you're fighting for results and it's the dressing room split you, and as Stevie said you can't, <coughs> you, can't yeah. you can't have that Robbo uh, your, your take on this ever ever witnessed two teammates dislike? yeah there was go on yeah there was two players at Arsenal that used to play cards on the coach uh, going to every away game but they never spoke to each other uh, one accused the other one of cheating. They probably had three or four fights over the course of the five years that I was there, or the, or the four years that they were there. Uh, one was Kenny Sampson, who went on to play 100 and odd games for England. Yeah. And the other one was Alan Sunderland. And every time there was a, a, a pair in, in training and they got together, there'd always be a fight and a bad tackle. But uh, we just got on with it. Yeah. Yeah, you just got on with it. It's just part, you know, you can't have, you know, 25, 30 guys. And everybody's right. Every day, just well, especially on. when you're being physical every day. Right. I mean, you, you're making challenges every day. So somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to take it the wrong way. Mm. Um, but generally, those things sort themselves out. Mm. It's, it's the kind of off the well, field. It's the same stuff as in the. Causing a problem. Go on, Robert. It's the same as in. It's the same as in the studio when you two don't always get on, do you? There's an atmosphere. There's one, would, two, there's one or two in the, in the studio all the time noticed. that don't get on. I was going to bring up that analogy, Robbo, yeah, but, you know. Oh, don't, sorry. Don't, don't have to be... Yeah, but it's TV. People don't yeah. realise. Always people say, oh, do you not get on with him and do you not get on with him? And right. <laughs> do you guys not get on? That's Nothing can be further from the truth. It's TV. Right. If, he did, if he disagrees with me or I disagree with him, then we, we have it out. Yeah. And then it so. might get heated. And then when, when, we, when you get us off air, we go, right, <laughs> same time tomorrow. So I just... Per Priority time. That's that's uh, that's what we move on to. Why is uh, Mauricio Pochettino asked Dean, or what has he done to deserve Craig's constant praise? Have you been constantly praising uh, Mauricio Pochettino, the uh, uh, no, the Spurs what boss? I, you know what I think it is. Well, well, because all this talk about Man United and 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 Solskjaer, I think that's what probably this question is mm. about. Is it? Well, because usually it would be, well, if Pochettino was available, would you have Pochettino or Solskjaer? Oh, okay. And then we would go into the Pochettino and why we think Pochettino, mm. and particularly you. So I think that's where this has probably come See, from. See, backing me up with <laughs> uh, uh, Look, I don't think he's the best or the worst, but he's done a good job. In the quarterfinals of the Champions League, 
He's managed them into some decent positions in the Premier League. If you look at the money they've spent and you look at the wage bill they have, it's, it's half of the other big boys in the top six. And, you know, Stevie said, there's a reason that he's been mentioned with Real Madrid and Man United. Mm. He's still got a lot to prove and he will need to get some teams over the line as we as we go ahead, whether it's Tottenham or anybody else. But I don't, I don't see a, I don't see a downside to Pochettino at the moment. Mm. Uh, Stevie, you take this, and I'm, I'm 98.5% certain I know the answer uh, to this. Well, most normal people is 99. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not How did you pull 98.5? There's an extra 0.5 of doubt. So uh, Alex wants to know, if Liverpool don't win the league, would winning the Champions nope. League make up for it? Nope. Absolutely not. Not, not. not even close. No, not no. even right. not even close. I, I, I should have gone 100% with that. There, uh, was, there would still be that pain. Right. Hanging out. Yeah. Right there. To be fair, I'm surprised you never went 99.357. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the slight doubt is I think Jurgen Klopp would, would like to win the Champions League, wouldn't he? Because he hasn't, and he got to a final with Dortmund. No, listen, we all wanted to win the Champions League, but if, if there was a choice... Right. It doesn't make up for it at all. 98.5% well, yeah, <laughs> of Liverpool fans would say the Premier League over right. the Champions League. Champions League is just a... An a 98.375. Well, I think it's because it's been so long for Liverpool after right. so much success that... Yep. And, and also, you would be beating one of the most talented squads ever assembled in, in English football. Yeah. That's yep. another thing. Yeah. Robbo, you take this one first from Mohamed. Can Arsenal repeat... Yesterday's same high-intensity game against Watford at Vicarage Road uh -uh. on Monday and grab those three points. <laughs> well, the evidence of recent away games would say no, they didn't play very well against Everton. They haven't played very well in too many away games recently. Uh, I think it's something to do with the setup. I'm not sure that Unai Emery go, gives them the same instructions when they go out on an away game. They don't play with that same confidence. He said today that they don't drive forward with the ball enough when they're playing away from home, whereas they do that at home. In other words, no, I don't think they're going to play with the same intensity. They're not going to close the ball down quite as quickly. And I think they'll get a result, but it won't be the same sort of performance. And you do it at Vicarage Road on a Well, I'll tell you what, you know... You slagging Watford off there, because I tell you what, they're a, there's the reason they're in the FA Cup final, because yeah. they're big and they're strong, and they've got good players, and they're very well organised, and they've had an excellent season, and, and if Arsenal put another one of those dodgy away performances in, then the top four is going to be a problem for them. Stevie, this is a long question. Maybe there'll be a short answer to it. Should MLS consider renegotiating the tournament structure of the CCL, CONCACAF Champions League? It seems like there's nearly no chance for MLS to win if the Mexican teams decide to go full strength against us. Within the current setup of the league, what adjustments could be made to level the field? I would, I would suggest that the early rounds uh, absolutely make it difficult for, for, for the majority of MLS teams to get through. Because of when it's played. Because yeah. of when it's played. Yeah. You know, it's pre-season. Yeah. Uh, Mexicans are way, way in better condition than the, the MLS sides. And so the chances, the, I mean, the chances are really small. Yeah. Now, what I can't stick up for is the fact that, you know, how many games in the MLS season are they? Six. Ten, five, six, five, seven. Five, six, seven. So you, yeah. should be, you should be 100% by now. Yeah. So, unfortunately, Kansas City losing 10-2 in aggregate. Right. Not a good it's look, hard, is it? It's hard to defend it. Is not, what it is. Yeah, because I mean, you say you're, it's not as if they've only played one MLS game, right? Which is tough because we all know when the season starts. Yeah. You're blown. Yeah. You can play as much pre-season as you want, and as soon as they, we're playing the Premier League, right? As soon as that first Premier League game, game came along, then it took you, sure. I don't know, what two or three games at least to yeah. get up to yeah. speed because you were huffing and puffing and blowing. Uh, but six or seven yeah. games in, I no, you should be. And besides, besides, there's not much incentive for the Liga MX teams to want to change anything. They're doing just fine. Thank you very much. But, and again, you could, you could change the setup every single year to try and find another way around it. Mm. But the fact is, the majority of the Mexican teams are better than the MLS sides. Yeah, correct. From top to bottom, yes. Yes, some of the MLS sides have fantastic individual players. Mm. But man for man, your average Joe and Mexico was better than your average joint in MLS. Buy defenders. Buy better defenders. And Spend stop, some money on defenders. And stop yeah. trying to tell people you get 3.275 goals a game in an MLS. That's what you know what I mean? Reality check. 
All right, finally, James has, it's more of a request than a question. Stevie and Craig sound similar when they speak. Can we have them announce their names beforehand? I usually listen to the podcast, so, so I can't see oh. who is speaking before you guys. Right. Are Robbo, do, do you think there's any, any similarity to these two fine gentlemen and how they sound? Not at all. One's got, I, th I would say, quite a posh Scottish accent, and the other is a toe rag from Scotland, really. <laughs> well, I, can't totally you, hey, I can't you, believe you're criticising your mate Bolly here, by hey, the thanks, way. Robert. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you didn't identify oh, which I mean, was look, which. You got, the lovely air, you got the lovely air accent and you got the Glasgow accent. I mean, th there's, there's a total difference. So who's the toe rag? Wow. Well, I think he left that open to interpretation. <laughs> Nickel, of course. Well, Nickel. What, and what See, is that's the rag? thing. I've got the uh, I've got the uh, spent ten years in London accent. It's a very posh Scottish accent. Because we're actually both from the west coast of Scotland, where we both come from. Half an hour apart. Uh, uh, the 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 rhetoric uh, is very. The accent right. is very similar. Uh, it's just that I've I've You're only half I, an I've hour ref apart, I've yeah. refined my accent a little bit. Yeah, uh, better. Oh, he's got posh mates. Th th 30, minute, 30 minutes drive away, you, you grew up from each other, yep. yeah? So it can't be that enough. different, can it? It's not different. I don't think it's so. just, you know, yeah. as I say, I, I've, you've got some, I've got some plums in my mouth. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> but I don't know how you, I understand what the gentleman's the chap's saying. But, maybe, uh, maybe we should have someone announcing each of your names you before you speak on the podcast. You should, always know, when it, you should always know when it's Stevie, because he's usually going, oh, how away you go. <laughs> <laughs> Talking nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I, I find it difficult how somebody doesn't right. know the difference between me and you, to be honest. Great. Mm. Well, no offence. Great minds think alike and, and, and sound alike, obviously. Have you been writing a book during I've this got, show? I've got, a, got a shopping list, here we go. By the way, away, where is this? Away top, oh, but lift it up. MLS, look. MLS. Uh, yeah, you're, just, you're just there, aren't you? I, I'm going to cross that out and put Liga MX. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, sharp away, from the knife. Away we go. Uh, Thanks, Robbo. Thanks uh, for your questions. We will. What, Robbo? Yeah. You never sent a question, huh? Oh, it's still time. Uh, next edition of the show, uh, we'll have all the Saturday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks for the uh, we'll Saturday action to review. Uh, and uh, we hope you can join <coughs> us. Thank you very much.